We'll continue to follow all this, but MoDOT and IDOT, they have their hands full. MoDOT is holding a press conference right now. Let's go and see what the plan of attack is. Really watch those elevated surfaces, those hill crest um, overpasses. Um, really be extra cautious on those exit ramps um, where you have to uh, take the exit and try to slow down. Um, that could cause you some issues in stopping. So, you know, we're going to be out today. Uh, I know MoDOT crews are going to be out trying to work, um, especially this morning when they got this break. Um, but there is another round they're telling us is coming in here earlier or later in this in the morning and throughout the afternoon so if you, you know we've been asking for the last couple of weeks that if you don't have to get out and you can work from home please do that um, if you have to get out again you know we can't stress enough the the importance of just slowing down and driving at safe speeds for the road conditions that you're on um, you know if you get to work this morning really watch your local news forecast your weather forecast and uh, you know, listen to us on our Twitter page for updates for roadblocks and road closures, and you know, watch the uh, MoDOT Traveler map as well, and plan your day accordingly. Uh, if you need to try to leave work early to get home before the roads get um, too slick, uh, try to do that as well. So, like I said, we'll be out uh, with troopers working throughout the afternoon. Uh, if anyone you know finds himself in a crash or slid off the roadway, call 911, star 55, and let help come to you. Stay inside your vehicle where you're safe. So, thank you. Morning, Bob Becker, District Maintenance Engineer from Monad St. Louis District. As you all know, the storm came in yesterday afternoon right about rush hour. We had crews in ahead of the storm and uh, rush hour was really good last night overall. We had a few minor incidents Traffic did a great job. Everybody slowed down yesterday, gave us plenty of room. So things were in good shape last night. So all last night our crews were out. We had full crews out, treating as needed. We had freezing precip off and on all night last night. So my advice for this morning is to continue. People need to be careful out there. The roads are in pretty good shape overall, but there are slick spots out there. That precip that came down, there are spots to be, be cautious of. You can't drive normal speed, so slow down, take your time, give yourselves plenty of time to get there this morning. Those areas to be always aware of is overpasses, ramps, bridges, things like that, where they don't get as much attention sometimes as the main line, so there could be some slick spots. Water can't get away from those spots. They'll pond on the roadway, there'll be some slick spots, so everybody needs to be careful and cautious around those areas especially. So if you get out this morning, check your forecast, check Check the news, see what the traveler information map is, go to modot.org, look at that, and uh, get there so you know what you're doing. Give yourselves plenty of time. If you've got the opportunity to stay home, you know, take advantage of that, stay home, because we'll be out there all day. We've got a storm coming in later on this morning. We'll be fighting this all day and into the evening. So evening rush hour could be another challenge with this precip coming down. But we will be out all day. We'll be doing what we need to do, getting the treatment down. There's not going to be a whole lot of uh, material to plow off the roads. It'll be mainly a treating event for this storm. So we'll be out doing that all day. And uh, like I said, our plows will be out. Give us plenty of room. Give yourselves plenty of stopping distance. Watch out for those slick spots out there. We've been listening live to the MoDOT News Conference as they talk about their plan of attack for Again, this winter weather, the keeping the roads as dry and as clean as possible. Let's now check in on the Illinois side of the river with our Ryan Henson. Ryan, how do things look over there? So for the most part here in Illinois, on the other side of the river, roads are holding up decent enough, but I mean, you're still going to see some activity here over my shoulder. Prime example, this is I-70 right here, and that's near 255 westbound. Uh, you know, so if you're on 70 headed back towards Missouri, you got a little activity down there and there's always going to be some of those bumps along the way. But for the most part, the interstate looks pretty clear. So I know IDOT crews had a chance to get out ahead of this a little bit and get some treatment down on the roads. Um, crews have been true to their mission this morning and uh, keeping them clear, at least the main highways and those main thoroughfares, obviously on those side roads, some of those small streets or neighborhood probably is going to be a little bit trickier to navigate. There's that little layer of ice right there, which is actually more problematic than it looks. Just the way it came down with the ice and the snow and everything coming together, it's actually melt or uh, sticking to the pavement, so to speak. So it's a little bit tricky to kind of peel up for IDOT crews, but more importantly, is the timing of everything, especially as this next band is expected to hit right in the middle of rush hour. We'll manage the event overnight and then we'll uh, load back up to match the next uh, pulse of energy 
uh, tomorrow morning, hopefully make everybody uh, have a reasonable commute back in to work, uh, see a doctor, whatever you need to do tomorrow. So we're trying to match our uh, resources to the heights of the two pulses of storm and uh, keep everything uh, open and passable. So IDAC crews, they're going to be ready to go. They got a good night's rest. The ones that are going to be behind the wheel early this morning, they're a little bit, they got a little more energy in their system now, but they still need that space on the roadways. You're going to see a couple of trucks go by dumping that salt. They're going to be knocking some of that snow and ice, what's on the roadway to the sides. So and make sure you got that space so we can keep uh, all, any kind of accident or any kind of sticky situation at bay. I'm Ryan Henson. We'll send it back to the studio for now.